Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about CAP theorem. So the term CAP actually stands for consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. So these three are actually different attributes of a distributed system. So let's talk a little bit about distributed system. So in the past, usually if you want to solve a problem, we actually use one single computer to solve the problem. Uh, but recent days, the problems require more compute power and more storage capacity to solve the problems. So in a single computer, if you want to increase the compute power or the storage capacity, you actually have to do a vertical scaling. But we all know that the vertical scaling has some upper limit, right? Beyond that, you cannot actually increase the capacity at the hardware level. So that actually leads to the horizontal scale. Instead of adding more capacity to the single computer, instead you add more computers to the system and then you try to uh, make the computers work together to solve a common problem. So having more than one computer to solve a problem is what we actually call as distributed computing. And also having more than one computer uh, and these computers working together to store and serve some data to a certain application is what we actually call distributed data store. And especially in this video, we are going to focus mostly on the distributed data store. Consider we have two machines connected to each other. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say we have two machines. Uh, machine, uh, machine number one, and we have another machine, uh, which is machine number two. And these two machines are going to work together to store and serve some data to a certain application. And these two machines are actually connected to each other through a uh, network. Right? Now with this system in the mind, let's talk about the attributes of the distributed system. The first attribute is actually consistency, which means no matter how many nodes you actually have in your distributed system, whenever you request your data from any of the node, the data should be consistent. <clears throat> So in this case, I actually put only two nodes uh, just to just for the simplicity for the demonstration purpose. But actually in a distributed system, you will have large number of nodes, right? So no matter how many nodes you have, whenever we request data from any of the node, it should always give us consistent data. So that's what consistency actually means. Uh, let's say if you have an application instance, uh, let's say if you have an application instance A1, which is actually trying to write some data to the machine number one. And at the same time, you have an, another application instance, let's say A2, which is actually trying to read some data from the machine number two. So soon after the A1, the instance A1 actually finished completing the writing the data to the machine number one, immediately that data should be available for the A2 when, when it is reading from the machine number two, which means we need to replicate the data to the uh, machine number two from the machine number one. So there must be a replication that happens between these two machines in a near real-time uh, performance, right? So as soon as the data gets written to the number one, it should get replicated to the number two. So the application instance two should always get the latest data. So that's what we call as consistency. Now the next one is availability, which means whenever an application is requesting any node to, for the data, that node should always the response with the successful response. So the any node, whenever we request the data from any node, it should always give the data. So it should never refuse the connection. It should never say, no, I don't serve the data, right? So it should be always available to serve the data to the application instances. And that's what we call as high availability. And the third one is the partition tolerance. And this is one of the important attribute in any distributed systems. So we all know in a distributed computing, network is one of the unreliable factor, right? There is a lot of possibility that network can go wrong in a distributed system. So that's why uh, in any distributed system, your system should have the capability to handle such network failures. So that's what we call it as partition tolerance. Consider the similar example where you have one instance of the application that is actually writing some data to the node number one. And then there is a network partition happens. There is some network issue. So the replication cannot happen between the node number one and the node number two. Now at this point of time, consider you have another instance of the application which is actually trying to read some data from the node number 2. Since there is a network partition and there is no replication happening between the node 1 and 2, the application instance might get some inconsistent data. It might not be able to get the latest data from the node number 2 because there is no latest data available in the node. Now this is where you have to choose between consistency or availability. In case of a 
um, in case of a, a network partition, in case of any network issue, do you prefer consistency or availability? So that's what CAP theorem actually states. And, and in one side, you, you can actually let the node serve the data, whatever it has in the node. It might be an inconsistent data, but the node will actually give the data to the application. If that is the case, you are actually preferring high availability over the consistency. The application will be highly available, but sometimes it will have the inconsistent data. On the other end, you can actually make the node refuse to send any response back to the application. So which means your application is highly consistent, but it is not highly available. You always serve the consistent data, but otherwise you don't serve any data at all. So that's what, which, that's what it means when you say it is highly consistent, but it is not highly available. And these kind of selection between the consistency over uh, availability has to uh, depend on the application requirements. It depends on the application requirements, right? Uh, say for example, if you are building a social media application like Facebook, um, consider one of your friend is actually posting some new post into the application. Okay, and then there is a network partition happens in the system. Now, when you try to read the uh, post from the application, you may not be able to see the latest data because the replication is not happening and you might not be able to see the post that your friend actually posted recently, <clears throat> which is actually fine. It is actually fine for you to see the inconsistent data for some period of time. And then when the network partition resolves, you may be able to see the latest data and you may be able to see the post that your friend actually posted, which is fine. So in this scenario, for these kind of an application requirements, the application consistency is not so important, but the application availability is more important. Sometimes you may see some inconsistent data, but your application is available all the time. But imagine if you are building a banking-based applications, your friend is actually transferring some amount of money to your bank account and then there is a network partition in your system. Now, if you try to read the bank balance of your account, uh, since the, there is a network issue and there is no replication happening, you might be able to see some uh, inconsistent data. You might not be able to see the latest bank balance in your account, right? And that is not a some small issue. That's, that's a very serious problem. Because with that kind of an inconsistent data, if you start doing other transactions, if you start paying bill, or if you are paying the money to some other people, then that will lead to a lot of errors, right? So in this particular case, you need high consistency over the availability. So when there is a network partition happens, and if your friend is trying to send some money, you actually have to fail this particular transaction. You have to fail the transaction. Either this one, or when you try to read the bank balance from your account, if there is a network partition, you have to fail that particular transaction. So which means you always have to serve consistent data to the application but sometimes the application is not available. So you always serve the consistent data or you don't serve the data at all. So these kind of selection uh, over the consistency or availability needs to come from the application business requirements. Now in this video, we actually talked about CAP theorem and some of the attributes of the distributed system and how you surround between the uh, consistency over availability in case of a network partition. I hope this video is really useful to you. Thanks a lot for watching. Audio jungle.